How to make aged cheddar hush puppies. Let's get into it. First, we're gonna grate about one and a half cups of aged cheddar cheese. If you're using a grater like this, don't forget to check the barrel every once in a while so it doesn't get clogged. You might have to take a knife or something to scrape it out in case it gets stuck in there. Also, you wanna make sure it's coarsely grated, not shredded. Once you've grated your cup and a half that you need, put it to the side until we're ready to use it. Now in a medium to small sized bowl, we're going to make our buttermilk at about one and a half cups of milk. And add one and a half tablespoons of either vinegar or lemon juice or lime juice. Whichever you got is fine. Stir everything until well combined, then put it to the side for about 10 to 15 minutes. If it starts to curdle a little bit, that's totally fine, It's that's what it's supposed to do. And if it sits for a few extra minutes past the 10 minutes, that's totally fine, but 10 minutes is the minimal. Now in a large size bowl, we're going to add 2 and 3 quarter cups of ground cornmeal one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one and a half teaspoons of salt, and one teaspoon of pepper. Whisk everything together until well combined. Add two eggs. Add half cup of milk. And add all of your buttermilk. Whisk everything together until well combined. Just kidding, before you whisk, add all of your grated cheese. And we're also going to slice one onion very thinly. To make things easier, I'm going to use this chopper. If you're going to use a chopper, just be careful not to turn it into mush. Add the onions to your batter. Now whisk everything together until well combined. Your batter will be pretty thick, that's totally normal. Let this rest for about five minutes. While your batter is resting, heat about three to four cups of oil to about 350 degrees on a thermometer. And also grab yourself a plate or a tray and line it with some tin foil, uh, with uh, some paper towels. And when your oil is hot enough, you want to drop your batter by tablespoonfuls into your hot oil, frying for about three to four minutes total. Don't forget to flip them over every once in a while too, until they're nice and golden. And if they start sticking together a little bit, just gently move them with a slotted spoon. And when your lumps are a nice golden brown on both sides, and when a toothpick inserter comes out clean, start carefully removing them from the hot oil. Drain off any excess oil and put it onto your prepared plate. Continue frying all of your batter. And when all your batter is gone and everything is a deep golden, take it off and enjoy. These are best served warm and hot.